Hey, you're looking at the AIT 7160 Sport. Um, so it's a brand new machine for us. And uh, it looks, uh, the sport version of the equipment, of course, has the input table that you see here right in front then that enables you to unwind the sublimation print paper down the table and into the machine while putting cut parts on top of it. And uh, that's a standard feature for AIT and has been for some time in sport machines and then also this machine will also do roll to roll uh, transferring so it's kind of the uh, anything and everything when it comes to applications as far as that goes. What's, uh, what's new here is this 7160 Sport is a, a slimmed down version or an economical version to try to help that starting customer um, get into a rotary heat press uh, where they might be contemplating uh, going with a platen press just from the economics standpoint. So that's the purpose of this machine but I wanted to do a quick once over here um, to explain what's on this equipment and how it functions. All our equipment, all the AIT equipment, rotary heat presses and platen presses use touchscreen PLCs. So you can see here we've got everything listed from uh, temperature to dwell time and uh, everything is changeable by just touching on what you want to change. This calculator pad comes up. You put in the new, uh, in this case, dwell time and uh, push enter and then in doing so the dwell time changes but then also the speed uh, the linear speed changes as well you could change the speed and certainly the temperature but but the 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 uh, the gist is that the uh, speed or dwell time either one can be changed and most people change the dwell time so that Touchscreen is standard on all our equipment and the really handy thing about it is it has so many features uh, What I showed you already, but then also we have this slow speed mode So you can be yes your application is 50 seconds But you go in slow sleep speed mode and it slows the belt speed way down while um, You thread the machine up in order to not waste uh, fabric and, and, and print paper can barely see the, paper, the, uh, uh, the belt moving there and then when you're threaded up and ready to go you simply hit this again and you're right back to the speed so there's no speed dial yeah the uh, uh, you used to have a speed dial like this on all the heat presses that that work great but you know understanding effectively where you were uh, speed wise and going from slow to fast in an operation like I just explained is tedious. Um, so other features of course the uh, uh, light tower to show you that everything is okay and running effectively. Here's the, let me back up and you can see the side frame. We're running the equipment with the doors open so that's a that's a no-no uh, but I wanted to show you some of the features uh, of the equipment that is the same as the other rotary heat presses from AIT. This is the oil heated drum. This is an 8 inch diameter heated drum and uh, the orange casing and wire that you see coming by is a thermocouple. So the thermocouple is mounted in the drum. You see a big black box coming by right now. That is a transducer that is taking the information from the thermocouple, that's kind of like the thermometer, checking the temperature, and that is going to transfer that information over to the touchscreen PLC via this unit um, in order to tell the equipment what temperature the drum actually is. The so what of all of that is there's very few moving parts and super low maintenance other than a battery that has to be changed in here once a year. That's about all that has to be done with the equipment, especially considering 
that the oil uh, drum that we use is an encapsulated oil uh, drum. So no oil maintenance, no oil refilling, charring, replacement, leakage, etc. Um, so the 7160 Sport has the smaller diameter drum, 8 inches. Um, it may seem small uh, uh, and is our smallest drum. Here's the square footage um, calculations. I just did this on another video, so uh, be sure to see the dwell time video for the exact calculations. But the gist of it is, at a 40 second dwell time on this machine, um, you're going to be running at the click of 690 square feet per hour. Now, that's 100%, so obviously you probably 